Today, unbreakable ways to launch a business. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Welcome to the latest post covering finance and property news with a distinctively Australian flavour. Today, I'm joined by Pat Masidi. Hi, Pat. Hey, Martin. Thanks for having me on the program. It's uh, quite exciting. I've been watching your programs for a very long time and uh, I'm uh, an enthusiastic fan. <laughs> well, thank you for that. And look, I'm a fan of yours too. You know, you're a motivational speaker, author, enthusiast. And, and you know, in th your enthusiasm comes through whether you're speaking or writing. Although, of course, this year has been a difficult year. Challenging year. Um, it looked, uh, 2020 hit us, hit us all for a six. Um, and, you know, I had events booked. I had hotel rooms booked. I had functions booked. I had it all. And it came to a grinding halt, Martin. And I was driving to the Gold Coast and I, I got very emotional. I mean, I'm Italian. I cried out being in the supermarket, you know. And uh, I, I, I said, what am I going to do? What, what are we going to do? Well, immediately, my business partner and I, we swung the business online and we launched a thing called 30K in 30 Day Challenge. Well, we got swamped. And out of 1,200 people, we chose one lady, never done anything like this before. We'd never met her before, never spoke to her before. And we launched her business online, just using the little knowledge that she had, $128,000 in 60 minutes. Next webinar did another hundred thousand, and we've been we've launched six or seven since then. So it, it it came out of out of fear, it came out of concern, but also that unbreakable, resilient human spirit that we all have. Right. And so, are there some universal truths that make these businesses work successfully online? Yes, there are, and uh, I've got a recipe for it, which I reveal in my live stream. Uh, look, I think here's the thing, Martin. Many of your listeners out there especially if you're over 50, if you've been made redundant or, you know, you're an ex, you know, uh, investor or speaker or, or, or traveler, a sales or leader, you, right now they kind of throw you in the scrap heap unless you've got a skinny pair of jeans, a Gucci beard and a ponytail, you know. Um, so I go, you guys and girls are at the prime of your life. You've got this plethora of information. And let me turn that information into a, well, let's call it product, but into an educational tool. That's all I've been doing for, you know, 10, 12 years and uh, basically doing what we do here. And and there's a formula for it because you can get it wrong, um, but it's it's getting it right and learning the processes of that. And, and of course, the number one key is to get out of your own way. <laughs> now, that's really important because sometimes, you know, psychological barriers, confidence barriers – or indeed the assumption you can't do something trips you up, doesn't it? Correct, correct, Martin. And, and especially during this time, um, the mindset of people has been so broken. We don't know who to believe anymore. I mean, honestly, you know, you see a photo of Scott Morrison, did he have a cap on the needle? Did he not have a cap on the needle? I mean, I mean, you know, the politicians say, wear a mask, don't wear a mask. Uh, I mean, we're, com we're more confused than than a termite in a yo-yo. But here's the sad part. Here's the sad part, Martin. Um, the Sydney University, uh, their, their Brain and Mind Centre did a study and they estimated that there would be 750 more suicides as an offshoot of this. Yeah. Having struggled with mental health and as many men and women out there have, I understand that pain. And a lot of it is, is because they don't see hope or they're a bit overwhelmed. And I believe we can move them into an area where they can be doing something for someone else and uh, and empowering people. That automatically gets rid of your depression and stress and anxiety, well, over a period of time anyway. And it's really breaking that mind. And, and as I say to, to, to my clients, your mind will either build you a prison or a palace. Your future prosperity lies right here. Stock market can go up and down. Bitcoin can go up and down. Drop 9% because Elon Musk did a, did, a, did a tweet or something, you know. But if you can stay strong in here, and find ways to use your knowledge, I believe you can create great wealth. Right. And so that starts with thinking about what actually do I have that I can capitalize on and leverage, right? And actually, most people will have something, won't they? 
A hundred percent, Martin. Look, I've launched people. I mean, the, 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 there's been like 47 industries. Feng Shui. I mean, that leaves me as cold as ice, honestly. <laughs> but, you know, uh, there is people that are, that are teaching bookkeeping, uh, law, bankruptcy. Uh, one of my former students, $12 million by teaching about in bankruptcy. Uh, accountants, doctors, lawyers, and mums and dads. Um, uh, you see, right now, people want to learn how. How do I be a good parent? Because, oh, but Pat, there's not much money in that. Really? Have a look at how many books on parenting there are out there. And you say, well, I'm not a writer. Well, neither was I. English is my second language. Born uh, to alcoholic parents. I, I, had to, I had to learn. And if people just have an ability to learn, that's why I, I wrote Unbreakable. And I thought, if I do just the book, there's no point. Let, let's connect them together and teach them in a live stream and, 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 and help people. That's my number one goal uh, is to get uh, people out there sharing their message whatever it might be. I mean, what you're doing right now is exactly it. And people say, oh, I'm camera shot. Well, now what? we'll put you behind slides. You know? <laughs> oh, and every excuse they can come up with, I've got an answer for, because at the end of the day, they've got to get out of their own way and that unbreakable spirit has to rise inside of them. Right. And so just to be clear, you've written the book called Unbreakable. Um, yeah. There'll be some live streams. We'll put those details below. And yeah. I think there's an audio version too. Yeah, the, uh, if they go to mercedi.com forward slash unbreakable, they get the book, uh, which I think already has become an Amazon bestseller. They get the live stream and we're giving them four options, Saturday morning or Saturday night, Sunday morning or Sunday night. It's the same content. And then when they arrive there, I give them a free audio uh, of me. If they can put up with this voice, they can put up with anything. <laughs> but the main thing is getting people to believe that, hey, I can help people. I can teach people. You know, uh, one of my students... Her name is Mandy. Mandy has a program called Untie the Knot, and she helps people in divorce. Well, some of the main banks now heard about this straight away and put her on as a consultant. You know, another one of my guys has a program for tradies. Suicide and depression and marital breakdown is shocking in tradies. So what's he doing? He's doing a program helping them deal with their mindset we're not going to call it mental health but mindset and then leading them into some strategic systems where they can create wealth or buy properties and many of your clients out there many of your students out there i know have got gold inside of them and uh you know it's like the statue of david we've got to chisel out what doesn't belong you know <laughs> <laughs> well yes you've got to start like I often say, you know, a journey is one step first. So take the first step and then take the next step, right? And, and people, I think, sometimes get um, scared thinking too far ahead. Correct, Martin. And I, I tell them one step at a time. Before I came on today, I was just on the phone to our good friend, Mark Victor Hansen. And, and he says, he, he said, basically, it's taking people in baby steps, one step at a time. And, you know, Martin, it, it's like losing weight. People go, oh, I want to lose 5 kg or 7 kg. But they don't fall in love with the process. And, I mean, how you got here right now was a process. You didn't do this overnight. So if people are willing to just go through the process, um, they can get an incredible. Don't fall in love with the bright, shiny toys. Oh, I'm going to trade and make a fortune. Mm, yeah, right. Fall in love with the process like you had, Martin, you know. That's the important part. Yeah, and look, my reflection on what I've done over the last, you know, few years, I didn't know where it was going to end up, right? But I had a passion. Um, mm. I had um, some capability. And frankly, I've just worked at it, developed it, you know, and it's grown and, and moved into areas that you perhaps didn't even think would ever happen. But the point is, start somewhere, right? Don't try Correct. and work the whole thing out. Don't build these massive plans that take years to build. Start yeah. the journey. Do you know, Martin, I, I get amazed at people that will go and invest in a franchise. And I mean, and I've worked with some some of the biggest names in this country, Gloria Jeans and some of the others. Mm. Uh, they'll invest in a franchise. They'll invest in the stock market. They'll invest in property. But they don't invest in themselves and back themselves. Yep. The reason why you've been able to create what you have, have now is you backed yourself. So to every you know man, woman, boy, up girl that's listening, I want to encourage you to back yourself. You've got information. And if you can just help someone go from A to B, you're a marketable product. And people sort of think, well, marketing is crass. 
we we face we have it every day what we're doing here is marketing you know and uh, what you what you know uh, stopped you i call them mind viruses you know and and when i was a minister i used to talk to my church people about mind viruses religion that you know that uh, you know money is the root of all evil and then ministers have passed the plate around you know <laughs> whereas the good book doesn't say that it says the love of money is the root of all evil so it's it's getting rid of these viruses that that cause us, you know, in Australia, we want everyone to rise to the middle. What are we going to do if, if you get successful? No, we're going to find fault in you. And believe me, I had faults. I've had my failures, but I've bounced back. And uh, some true, some not so true, but we'll leave that one alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the resilience, I think, comes from starting and, and realizing you can achieve things, right? And, you know, those small steps build mm. confidence, build resilience, and, and, and on you go. But I come back to this fundamental question. How do you take that first step? The first step, I believe, I, I honestly believe this, Martin, is be willing to learn and get a mentor. Uh, you will find that you, you mentor people that may not be up close, but what you're doing right now is mentoring them. And people go, oh, I can't see myself as a, as a mentor. Okay, can you have a cup of coffee over a Zoom call with someone? Can you pick up the phone and talk to someone? Um, but again, learning from a mentor, a, a mentor gives you wisdom without the weight, knowledge with less pain. It's learning through the loss of another. Because I hear a lot of people use this word mentor and I go, please, you know, don't insult our intelligence. Mentorship is not just listening to words. A mentor isn't interested in your past. They're going to push you to your future. And here's the, the thing about a mentor. If people could just engage with a mentor, mentor should give them access to three things. People. So with my students or any of my clients, I give you access to people. Number two, I give you access to principles. I want you not just to think about money, but I want you to have a framework because your money can't keep you or your mind's not going to hold you. And the third thing is profit. Mentorship should lead to that. I know that's what you do. And to me, that's the first step. That's why people go, oh, why did you do the book free? You know, uh, no, one, no, one, uh, no one gives you a free lunch. Well, Haters and takers think that way. Uh, we've been able to give 1.8 million to charity in the last 10 years and uh, built orphanages all over the world. Because I think if we give, it will come back. Fundamental law of life. And uh, I think that's the most important, getting a mentor and being willing just to learn a few hours. That's it. Mm. Yeah, I think that's absolutely a, a wonderful advice. And I think the other point I would just add to it from my experience mm. is the profit is not the driver, no. right? It, it may or may not happen, but actually it's, it's something much more deep in terms of mm. me as an individual and as me interrelating with society. And mm. I think personally, I get more value out of that than anything else. A hundred percent. Martin, for many years, I, I was a director of a drug rehabilitation center in Sydney. I graduated 400 boys with an 86% success rate, never took drugs in my life, got no money from the government, I remember several years ago, I met John Howard and he said to me, how come you don't ask me for funding? I said, because I'm a capitalist <laughs> and I don't want to answer the bureaucrats, you know. Um, and what I, I, I think, um, uh, Martin, is if people put, who can I help today? Can I help someone lose weight? Can I help someone with accountancy problems? Can I help someone with legal issues? Can I help someone in investments? Can I help someone build a business online? If you solve a problem, the money will come. I, I, I tell my, my clientele, stop asking for money and start bringing solutions. If you solve a problem, the money will come. Mm, absolutely. Well, Pat, I've really enjoyed speaking with you, and uh, I you. highly recommend that uh, upcoming uh, live stream. I think uh, people will learn a lot. We'll put all the links and things below. And I'll also put um, a, a couple of the contact points in terms of some of those uh, people dealing with you know, mental issues, because we know that there will be some people watching these shows who Absolutely. do need to reach out. Yeah. And Martin, look, they've got four options, and they get the book, the download, Unbreakable, Mercedes.com forward slash unbreakable. I look forward to it. Martin, finally got on your show. I've made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, congratulations. And I've, I've finally got you on my show. So I really appreciate your time. It's called get you. a win win. Thanks, I've, Pat. I've got to get you speaking to our group as well. Thank you, Martin. God Take bless care. You. Goodbye. Bye.